Here's, yeah. another, here's another question. Um, would you have an issue with a guy paying for another girl's OnlyFans while dating you? Yeah. Yes. yes. If he was paying for a girl's OnlyFans? Yes. yes. Okay. Unless it's like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but, so, again, extreme circumstances. Like maybe he's just like really trying to like support her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he was like supporting her like before we were together and he's just trying to be a good guy, get her through college. <laughs> But so you guys all have an issue with that, but you would still, you yourself, you want to go out to party and club. So, but, and you guys were kind of talking about, I wouldn't want someone <laughs> to limit me in that way or to control me in that way, but I suspect you'd want to prevent your boyfriend from doing those things. If he's paying for yeah, it, then that, he's really yeah. trying to get it. But also like a strip club, like you're going for the girls. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't see why else you'd go to a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks, Unless it's like a the bachelor booze. party. Yeah, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 have fun. Like it was like a group thing, and he he just got dragged along. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would say that the likelihood of a guy going to a strip club and being able to sleep with one of the strippers is lower oh. than oh. a guy coming up to you at a party. <laughs> I like part <laughs> like hooking up with people. Wait. <laughs> hooking up with people at bars, clubs, or parties is fairly common, mm -hmm. but most customers cannot sleep with the strippers. I, yeah, but I had a, a friend. They'll pay for it, maybe. My ex's friend um, was staying with us. I lived with Max. He was staying with us with his girlfriend, and while his girlfriend was asleep, he snuck off, went to a strip club, paid a stripper. They had sex in her car, and he went back to her and acted like nothing. Yeah, happened. a lot of strippers escort, but she, he paid. Yeah, right? like 400 bucks. But it's never going to be another like... another girl that wasn't his girlfriend. That she, they, they were like, she was asleep, and he just snuck off at, at my house and just went to... Yeah, definitely right a, lot of, a lot of <laughs> uh, dancers, a lot of strippers, they... Uh, and then you're not allowed to yeah. They'll... They're, they won't sleep with a customer for love, but they'll do it for money. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's still just. Uh, go ahead. I think the point is, well, like, the point is, like, guys go to strip clubs to look at women and, like. You don't go to parties for male attention? I don't go, like, I go with my friends. Like, the whole point is, like, me going with my friends. If Couldn't you just hang out at someone's house and just drink and watch The Bachelor? It's not the same, though. Like, yeah, we do that, too, but sometimes, like, going out to the club is but the, the So, I guess like, the, the point I'm trying to make is is that when you guys go out, do you guys approach you and yeah. hit on you? But even when I'm not going out, like, I'll be walking to freaking the corner store, like... Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. So... But, but I would say that whereas you, you could go to Trader Joe's or go about your day there's like maybe a guy will come and talk to you but it's probably less likely than you getting approached at a bar or club or a party like it's a foregone conclusion if a girl goes to a party like probably some dude's gonna hit on her try to dance with her or something like that like yeah. it's gonna happen <laughs> and it's it's a very whereas if you're going to Trader Joe's like the intention there is to go get groceries but if you go to a party the intention there like you're intentionally going to a social gathering mm -hmm. you go to bar or club it's a social gathering people meet each other yeah and but these the attention is to party not to like i mean some people do go to like find someone but the mm -hmm. intention is to party with the you're going to see a stripper like your intention is to see like fucking some titties like <laughs> <laughs> Some titty, that's all I want. Well, I, I guess I'll, I'll sort of try to... We're going to move on from this soon. But <laughs> what, I, what I would say is, is that part of being in a long-term relationship is closing off your options. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't keep your options open when you're in a relationship. No. So my, my position is, is that if you're going to... In the same way that you should probably get off of dating apps if you're in a relationship, that would be keeping your options open. Yeah. I think that going to parties, bars, and clubs is whether whether you have you could be super loyal, have no intention of it. To some degree, it's still sort of like you, you are keeping your options open if you go to these environments. I disagree. Yeah, I also I disagree. disagree because you will, but you're you're going to be hit on. Part part. 
Sorry, go ahead. Mm. Disagree. I, I have a when we me and Vivi have a friend, and she once in a while will come up come out with us. She'll come with her boyfriend. Yeah. There recently was a party. I don't know if you guys went. It was <laughs> you wear a certain color depending on if you're single. Compl- yeah. yeah. The red light. Yeah. 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 Stop. My party. Yeah. me and Vivi were all green, and my friend wore red, and that was definitely. I mean, that that was a different situation of like you're indicating that you're taken or whatever. Mm-hmm. But mm. her personally, that's just the one person I know that comes out with us who's in a relationship. She ignores everyone. No yeah. one ever really comes up to her. Uh-uh. She's very much in her girl group. She doesn't go off to talk to anyone. Yeah. And so you definitely, reject them. Like, yeah, you reject like, them. I have a boyfriend. She Sorry. backs up. Every time someone tried to talk to come up to us and talk, she would back away and kind of hide yeah, behind no, us. Yeah, no, I literally would stand in front of her and be yeah. like, no. <laughs> you would tell people, like, yo, back the fuck off. Like, <laughs> you're not getting anything. Uh, should I, chat, should I do the dream world hypothetical scenario here? <laughs> Oh, oh shit, Verx! Thank you for uh, all the gifted memberships. Unfortunately, in Streamyard, I'm not sure it doesn't. I don't think it um, allows us to pull it up. Unfortunately, but Verx, let me just acknowledge you and give you a big shout out. Jesus, my hair is fucking scuffed. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I have to get a fucking hat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, do oh. I, guys, do I do the pickle haba? Yeah. One, one for the pickle haba. World War One, guys, not World War Two. Um, <laughs> Or the just the U.S. flag hat, two for the U.S. flag hat. Um, but Verks, thank you for the uh, gifted memberships, man. Much appreciated. You're a legend. Um, where was I? Okay, so I, I don't even remember what the ones and twos were. The one was the, the one was the other one. Not the other one. <laughs> Luke, you're wearing the pickle haba. All right, can He's you put, fit your put it on head? us, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh, Mike Davis is in the chat. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Yo, Mike Davis, we've got this uh, this vigil here for you. I don't, know if, I don't know if you noticed the candles, man. Also, we have the BBC, the big black clock. Um, if you can just hide that just for a second, Eric, while I just show him the BBC, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll pull it back up. Um, yeah, that's, uh, and it, by the way, if you note the time, it's at, uh, well, Six, okay. <laughs> so, uh, B- Mike Davis, good to see you, man. Yeah, dude, you've been, we haven't seen you as frequently in the show, so I wanted to do a little vigil for you. Um, can we get some, uh, He's alive. can we get some He's scandal, someone. some scandals, some, some candles? Uh, for Mr. Mike Davis, but Mike Davis, thank you for the uh, <laughs> super chat. Let me just let me do some super chats right now while I uh, have it ready. What's that? You feel honored yeah. to be? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since he's been gone. Uh, Mike Davis, what's good, fam? Just tuning in and feel don't like have time to stick around. around. Tonight's lineup looks like a pack of degenerates. Someone please do community <laughs> service and handle them from. I don't know if he even saw the Mike Davis. You're not even acknowledging the. Yeah. I'm not sure. If he I think you're left. <laughs> Brian, please donate this money so she can get laser tattoos. <laughs> oh. uh, my gangsterism with the ten dollars super chat. Thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Already covered ones. Okay. Uh, do you want to uh, fire back yet? Uh, if you want to pay for it, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> pay for it and then Drop get the more tattoos. Exactly. I'll just tattoo over them. 